Time for CBS Sports Now here on CBSN. It is a busy day in the world of sports. Let's dive right in. Joining us, CBS Sports columnist and host of Writer Than You. Love that title, Bill Writer. All right, let's start with a five-game suspension to uh, Louisville uh, head coach Rick Pitino. What's going on with Rick? What's going on with his latest troubles? It's ugly. This might be one of the most tawdry scandals we've seen since the last time Rick Pitino had a scandal. Recruits were wooed by strippers and prostitutes that we know. They blamed an assistant coach, but not only is Patino going to miss the first five games of conference play, they're going to vacate wins from December 2010 to 2014. That means for the first time in the history of college basketball, a championship banner is going to come down. That 2013 title, it's going away. And Rick Patino, interestingly, wow. mad as hell, saying that he thinks this is a punishment that is not just. And it's very unusual when guys like this are punished to retrench, to fight, to take on the NCA, It's going to be ugly going forward. Wow. Yeah. No more 2013 title. They're taking it back? It's a matter of semantics at this point because technically they haven't taken it down. But, yes, based on the findings, once wow. Louisville, which they're required to do, submits the names of the players. We already know who they were who were involved in those teams. All of those wins are vacated, including the national title. I just want to point out before we go on to the next topic, the movie Blue Chips with Nick Nolte from the 1980s right? predicts college <laughs> basketball to a T. I'm pretty sure this scene was in there. It anyway. was. Uh, other big headline, UFC uh, star Conor McGregor and boxing champ Floyd Mayweather uh, have set a date to fight. What do you expect? Uh, it's going to be a circus, and having covered both boxing and the UFC, at a minimum, the press conferences leading up are going to be must-see television. Conor McGregor, one of the great smack talkers in the history of sports. Money Mayweather, the same thing. What we don't know is whether it's actually going to be a good fight. Conor's a great striker in the UFC. That's a different thing than boxing, and although Mayweather's 40, He's the best defensive fighter of all time, one of the great pound-for-pound -pound fighters of all time. We just don't know whether Conor McGregor will actually be real competition in the boxing ring, but a record number of people are expected to pay on pay-per-view and in person to find out. So they're going to have to, they're going to fight by the rules of boxing, not UFC. They are. So a lot of things will sort oh, of happen. Wow. There's obviously boxing mitts, which means it takes away some of the punching power. And Conor McGregor, no flying leg kicks, no knees, no elbows. It just has to be his fists. And whether he's an actual boxer on any level, let alone an all-time great level, it remains to be seen. Being a fighter and being a boxer are two different things. They are. This is going to be good for the sport of boxing. Though. They need this kind of crossover success. I think it is, and I think it's good for both sports because UFC obviously gets to have their main face be the guy who fights Mayweather when he goes for 50-0, which would be a record besting Rocky Marciano. It's good for both sports. Let's move on to the NBA. LeBron James yeah. catching some flack for comments about a super team. What did he say? What's going on? So there's a back and forth between LeBron and Draymond Green. They talked a lot of smack with each other, and obviously Draymond Green and the Warriors got the final, final word in, a, in, in the NBA championship. Part of what Draymond said was LeBron was part of a super team. LeBron said he's not part of a super team. It has a lot of people rolling their eyes. I'm one of them. I was there for that super team. I covered that team in Miami. Obviously, LeBron James in 2010, when he raised up on a stage, when he talked about taking his talents to South Beach, when he paired with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, defined super teams in this era and gave Kevin Durant a blueprint to go to the Warriors. It's just LeBron. I like LeBron being a little petty and a little silly. All right. Well, he had a good year. He had a good year. It's good. It's still good to be LeBron James. Indeed. All right, uh, Bill Ryder, thank you for walking me through the world of sports. You bet.